Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Ren Cycles Ivan. The Ivan is a cyclocross slash fast adventure bike by Ren Cycles. It's made out of titanium. And this particular build is set up one by with the Gevinale shifters, a 42 tooth chain ring, and a 11 speed rear cassette. Another cool thing about this build is that it actually is set up with 650B wheels. And I'm running the 27.5 1.9 Pen Racer Gravel King. This bike also has TRP disc brakes, and these disc brakes are unique because they're both cable actuated, but also have a hydraulic piston, so you get kind of the best of both worlds. But enough talk, let's hop on the bike and uh, see how it rides. So one of the first things I've noticed hopping on the Ivan is just how quick and responsive it is to uh, applying power. It really has a lot of get up and go. Whether you're accelerating in the saddle or climbing out of the sa saddle, the bike just wants to kind of squirt out from under you. It's super, super fun. So although this uh, bike is a cross bike, I can definitely see using this on fast uh, club rides or just spirited day wreck rides. Another thing I noticed right away is a nice dampened feeling of all the road vibration bike just feels buttery smooth over all sorts of terrain. And one thing I absolutely love about this build are the 650B wheels and these tires. I'm running them fairly low and they're taking the sting out of some of the really big kits. So I've been riding the Ivan with these uh, Pan Racers the last couple days on a bunch of road rides and I found that these tires are actually pretty quick on pavement. Perfect for hard pack. They make a good all-round tire. On the front end, the, the steering is a lot more responsive. Whereas on the waypoint, you can kind of set it in a direction and forget it. This bike, it definitely does take more inputs to, to keep it going in the direction you want, especially on a bumpy road like this. So I did get a chance to ride this bike on the road the last couple days, and it is a blast on pavement. And it's also a blast on uh, this kind of mixed terrain gravel surface. So, so far we've been taking the Ren Cycles Ivan uphill where it performs beautifully. Uh, so now let's see how it performs going downhill. So what, the first thing I noticed is that this bike really likes to carve the corner. And it's actually descending a lot more uh, stably than I had thought. I'd say between this bike and the waypoint, the waypoint definitely feels like it descends on rail. This bike, uh, you have to be a little bit more on top of. Super fun ride, very playful. So I've had the chance to get the Ren Cycles Ivan nice and dirty, and I have to say it is a blast to ride. Uh, the shorter rear end and the higher bottom bracket definitely make it uh, more playful. It accelerates really well. When you put the uh, hammer down, uh, the bike just wants to go. And uh, whether you're sitting and climbing or standing and climbing, the bike just moves. The front end handling is also really responsive. Uh, so it makes it fun to kind of carve through corners. Although if you're going on the long ride and you're getting tired, you definitely want to stay on top of the steering. Whereas the waypoint kind of drove itself, uh, this bike does require a little bit more active input to keep it pointed where you want it to go. So I think if you're looking for a bike uh, that can do fast road rides, fast gravel rides, uh, that you can race cross with, uh, do super light and quick bike packing trips, then the Ren Cycles Ivan is definitely a bike to check out. I have to say when I first started, I wasn't a fan of the one by system, but it slowly won me over. And uh, the same thing with the Gevinale uh, shifters. Um, after having used them, I've gotten used to them, and I really do like uh, the range and the simplicity of the system. And that might be a future video, kind of converting one of our two by bikes into one by bike. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. Also a big standout for me on this bike was the 650B uh, wheels and these tires. Uh, they gave good traction, uh, lots of suspension, and it was just a blast to ride. And uh, when you're on pavement, and you pump them up to a little bit higher pressure, they actually roll pretty fast as well. So not too much of a compromise for a off-road and a on-road uh, wheel tire combo here. So let me know if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. Uh, I want to thank Ren Cycles for letting me get their bikes nice and dirty. Um, so definitely check out their website if you're interested in a Portland designed uh, titanium adventure bike. So if you like this video, uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. 
hit that bell button to get notified of future videos and thanks for watching.